Hi everybody, today is August 26th, 2013. I know, I know, you wanted Alexa Ray back. Well, she's taken a much deserved breather after Gamescom, so I, Smith Sarkar, am here again in her stead. You're watching Speedrun. Microsoft has finally sent its space bucks to the moon. With an Xbox 360 system update that began rolling out today, the company officially retired Microsoft Points, the much criticized alternate currency that had been used on services like Xbox Live. Any existing Microsoft point balances will be turned into local currency at the going rate. In the US, that's 80 Microsoft points for $1. And that converted money will be valid until June 1st, 2015. You'll still be able to redeem prepaid points cards for the foreseeable future, and Microsoft will replace them later this year with Xbox gift cards. Don't let the door hit you on the way out, Microsoft points. There's another Professor Layton game on the way. Developer Level 5 announced the next title in the long-running series today, Layton 7. It's coming to iOS, Android, and 3DS. Layton 7 will take the puzzle-focused franchise into a new genre, role-playing games. You'll be able to explore a small city and take on the roles of characters like a taxi driver, a dog, and a zombie. How many matchsticks can a dog hold at once? What if your parents loved you so much they decided to make a video game console just for you? Humor columnist John Boyes from SB Nation makes his debut on Polygon with a thought experiment, the Video Game 3000, the gaming console that your parents built you out of wood because they couldn't afford to buy you a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or Wii U. Your mom and dad decided to skip E3 and premiere the console at its launch party, which also happened to be your 10th birthday party. Note that we're continuing to update our score for the Video Game 3000 well into the future. We review the latest adventure for Rayman and his friends, Rayman Legends. The follow-up to 2011's Rayman Origins proves developer Ubisoft Montpellier's mastery of the 2D platformer genre, according to reviewer Danielle Riendo. The later stages occasionally get frustratingly difficult, but almost nobody can compete with the level of quality and variety they offer. If you want to break up some friendships, try it in co-op! Your PC is probably encased in a black rectangle of some sort, right? Boring. One of the highlights of Gamescom is its annual case modding competition. This year, we checked out 40 to 50 entries, which included computers built to look like a life-size Terminator and a massive, fully functional gaming mouse. You've got a whole year until Gamescom 2014, so step up for game, folks. That's it, Polynauts. I promise that Alexa Ray will be back tomorrow. Probably. If she's alive.